A lot's happened on the MVP front since you and I last talked. Uh, because I'm a fair man, uh, I will acknowledge Brock Purdy uh, and his four interceptions <laughs> against oh. Baltimore. Uh -huh. um, they do four interceptions against the best defense in the league. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I never okay. said, I never, I never said, I never said that he was never going to have a bad game. Far be it for a quarterback to have a bad game. Oh my God. No quarterback other than Brock Purdy has ever thrown four interceptions. That was a league record. I missed the part where that was an NFL hey, record or first in NFL history. And you used to cover, I, I know you covered the Patriots. Remember that time in that big game uh, at home that Tom Brady threw four interceptions? No, you don't. No, it didn't happen. You, you, you were comparing okay. this oh, to oh, oh, Tom so, Brady. Oh, so now, oh, so now we can go Tom, Tom Brady when it's convenient. I didn't compare him to Tom Brady. I compared his rise and his story to Tom Brady. Why I got to say it louder for the people in the back? What I said. You know exactly what I said, but then you go twist this stuff again. And he got me cussing on. I, I said I wasn't gonna cuss in 2024. I wasn't gonna Why put these people working at him. Why did you, say that? Him, Why did you say that? Who'd you say that to? I don't know. Who'd you I don't say that know. to? I, to That's just like, no, just stop lying to yourself. I know. You always gonna I cuss lied to myself. If you but stop, I, but I wasn't. Even, if you stop cussing, that's not you. You gotta, you gotta embrace that's you. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. But I don't want to be gratuitous with it. Okay. But that having said, I wasn't even here to talk about Brock Purdy. Well, yes and no. I, I want to talk about Lamar Jackson, who has since seemingly locked up the MVP. He's locked it up. I mean, it is he's going to rest in week 18 against Pittsburgh. It's, a, it's all sold up. All right. But and, th and thankfully so thankfully so because I said this I said this prior to Brock Purdy's four interception game. I believe I believe it was prior to that game and it only got worse from there. It only got worse on both sides. I said prior to the game that I hated this MVP discussion because it was devoid of objectivity. It was devoid of logic and it was becoming toxic along the lines of the 2022 2023 NBA MVP discussion it's where it's just like, you know what? I'm tapping out of this. Yeah, then yeah. Brock Purdy proceeded to have a bad game against the best defense in the league. Okay. And okay, disqualify himself from excuse the MVP the conversation. No, it's not an excuse. It's a fact. He had a bad game against the best defense in the league. Conversely, conversely, Lamar Jackson cooked one of the best defenses in the league and everybody decided to jump on the Lamar Jackson MVP campaign at that moment. Don't sit here and lie and say that prior to that game, there was this groundswell of support for Lamar Jackson as MVP. There was not. Was he in the conversation? He absolutely was in the conversation. Okay. Was he leading the conversation? Absolutely not. Okay. Because the statistics were not there. So people were not talking about Lamar as this ironclad MVP candidate until he did it against Brock Purdy, which tells me that it was never about football. It was about right. fitting a narrative, an agenda yes. or fitting in with a certain crowd. But OK, right. taking nothing from Lamar Jackson. He then goes out and after some I'm not going to name call, I'm not going to name call. OK, after a, a media member that I never heard of invokes the term quarterbacky Say, or lack thereof when it comes to Lamar Jackson. And I got to hear that BS for several days, only for Lamar Jackson to go out and damn near look like Brock Purdy. I'm kidding. No, seriously, look like Tom <laughs> Brady with a, with a perfect passer rating and five touchdowns. Yeah. How's that for, how's that for quarterback? -y? So all in all, there was just so much stupidity being spewed by people who are not qualified to discuss this and thank God it's over. Thank you, Lamar Jackson, for dropping the mic on the MVP conversation so that people who shouldn't be on microphones talking about this can shut up once and for all. That's all I had to say about that. Okay, listen, uh, as a poet, as a poet says, weak ideas irritate my ears, right? So I understand the frustration. We're going to do that the, the whole show? I'm here for that. Hey, I'm here yeah, for oh, listen, I can do this all day. I'm oh, here for this that. Is, 
Like, this is one I'm of my, this is, seriously, Rakim is one of my, I told you this before, he is one of my writing heroes. Put it on an application once for an internship. Who are some of your favorite writers? I, I think I may have uh, named the woman behind me up here, Nikki Giovanni, uh, Tony Morrison, and William Griffin, also known as Rakim. Anyway, um, I would say this. Where was I? I was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, where was I? You, you know, 54, man. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Happened to me at 44. Lose my train no, no, of thought real 53. fast. 53, 53, 53. But I would say with, with Lamar and the conversations, before we get to Lamar, the player, you start talking about some of the stupidity. And I mentioned oh, the yeah. weakness. It, it precedes it, this. But, You're right. <laughs> why is it? I, I, but, I, but this happens all the time. If I were, if I came out and you came out, let's say the beginning of this season, 2024, 2023 season, and we both gave this brilliant analysis. I know, fat chance, but we gave this brilliant analysis of what Lamar Jackson was going to do under Todd Munkin and how this is the best offense for him. And no mm -hmm. matter who's there, Lamar is ready at 26, soon to be 27 years old, to go to another level as a player. Like the they wouldn't they wouldn't be mad about it. They wouldn't talk about it. It's almost like stupidity is lucrative. Like if you're a clown, for sure, you for say sure. stupid stuff. It right. People it will sells. like pay attention to that. But wh why are you paying attention to that? Why does right. that get you going? I, I, I'm always fascinated by this, Michael. Like, it's a, I, I didn't major in psychology, didn't minor in psychology. But is there something wait, about say, the human condition or is it about Wait, when you say why, you say, oh, okay. So when you say why people pay attention, you're talking about the individuals themselves or you're yeah. talking about us collectively? No, it's the individuals because they, okay. the coaches will pick that up and say, hey, look what this guy said about you. Uh, fan bases will get involved. We we always play. We, we praise the Ravens. A couple weeks ago, I called them the A plus students of the NFL. We, you you say wonderful things about Eric DaCosta, Ozzie Newsom, like on and on. John Harbaugh. We always it's my favorite organization. The Ravens and give them their props. Yeah. Some idiot can come out and say something that doesn't even make sense. I don't even know what that means. I don't and either. It and it inspires them. But anyway. I mean, we, I mean, we do, we, we do, we do know what it means. But what I thought, where I thought you were gonna go, because media members and social media members um, are just following suit. Because, and I don't mean to steal your thunder, but you know, talking heads ain't the first person to be dumb when it comes to Lamar Jackson. Like, and I wrote oh, about we, this. I wrote about this for Thursday Night Football after. They uh after they lost the previous game, I want to say it was to Cleveland. In part due to a Lamar Jackson pick six. They were they were uh, this was a Thursday night game, and I was talking about the fact that even going back to coming out of Louisville, Bill Polian's infamous he should switch to receiver. All the way up to and through, and I'll give it to you here, this offseason, which more and more people have reflected on. It's so like, so not only did he get his contract and have a, a great season, but the MVP, you want to talk about how many coaches have statues in places that they were fired? How many MVPs were available the previous offseason? Yeah. And, no, and, and, not, and not only did the team succeed in keeping them, but nobody tried to get him. That, that's where, only with that's where <laughs> I think if you have an agenda, let's say collusion, or if you're trying to make mm -hmm. a statement, it winds up, uh, it makes smart people look dumb. And so, and, and I guess I'll, I'm not going to give them all credit, all, all team owners and general managers credit for being smart, but I'd say the vast majority of them are. I mentioned Lamar Jackson's age. He is a previous MVP. So he wins an MVP in his second yeah, that's season. that's true. Right. Previous MVP, yeah. and he's about to be MVP this he's year. About to win it. Yeah. So, you got yeah. a, a two time. He's going to be a two time MVP uh, before the age of 28. Uh, you look at his record. Some people don't believe in quarterback starting records. I do. I, that's a stat that I, I pay attention to. It's not everything for me, but I pay attention okay. to it. He's won yeah. a bunch of games. Well, when, it's, when it's that exceptional, 
then I think it is something. I would agree with that. When it's yeah. that exceptional, like when it when it when it's, it's, it's there's no coincidence when somebody's because what is it? It's the same record at this point as Brady. You know yeah. what I mean? Is there something? There's something to that. Yeah. He's he's won a bunch of games. He's a creator. We all, all these things. Uh, a very inventive, resourceful quarterback as well. He can throw it, but he can also do some things uh, on the ground. But this is why I, wonder, I don't understand this. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't the Carolina Panthers talk to Lamar Jackson? Because the draft happened after. The draft happened ap- after. Yeah, sure, you, you got the number one pick, but that doesn't mean you have to move, use the number one pick on Bryce Young. You don't have yep. a quarterback. Because I was having this conversation yep. with somebody yesterday, and they brought up a good point. Brought up a good point. He said, all right, um, but if you're going to, if you bring in Lamar and that team has an established quarterback and he's just going to go back to Baltimore anyway, now you got to explain to your, your quarterback why, you know, why were you in pursuit of Lamar Jackson? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. If you don't want to hurt feelings. I mean, the, I mean, the, I mean, the Browns did it with Deshaun. I mean, like, this, yeah. so what? I mean, it's, if you don't want to hurt boys, feelings. It's business. Yeah. I can understand that being a drawback, but at the time, but Carolina. teams had established quarterbacks. Carolina, Washington. Carolina, Houston. All it's. Houston didn't. All the teams. They got a great right. one. All, all the teams that's at the top of the draft this year looking for quarterbacks could have been in on Lamar Jackson. And let me but I, but I, can I, I tell you. Yeah. Here's another one. Can I tell you another team that has. Now, this team is probably the worst offender because they have passed on, a, on an opportunity to get Lamar Jackson twice. That would be the New England Patriots because in 2018, they had two first round picks. So they could have drafted Lamar Jackson with the second of their first rounders. Mm-hmm. Instead, they drafted Isaiah Wynn and Sony Michelle. Passed on Lamar Jackson yeah. in 2018 to have him sit yeah. and, and 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 learn from Tom Brady for a year, then move on from Brady right. as they did at Lamar Jackson. And the other and, and this time, they're looking for a quarter. They got Bailey Zappi and Matt Jones, dude. What are you thinking? Thanks, you thanks, thanks for reminding Lamar me. Jackson. That was that was a, that was a second out of three dumb things that NFL types have said or done. Switch to receiver, 32nd pick in the draft, and let the Ravens of all franchises trade up to get him with Philadelphia, if I recall correctly, and then passing on him in the offseason when he was there for the taking, or if nothing else, just to disrupt um, you know, disrupt Baltimore's relationship with him, if nothing else. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.